Well, for the first time, I really don't know how to open a video. Today, Frontier released the anticipated roadmap for fixes on Odyssey, and honestly, it doesn't feel right. So here's the deal. There's been a lot of negativity surrounding Odyssey, and the vast majority of that negativity is deserved. Frontier bodged the release on so many levels, we could talk about it for hours. A ton of negative videos, reviews, forum posts, and comments have spawned, not just from the elite community, but also the wider gaming press and gaming community. And yes, some of that has, of course, come from me. Yet here we are. The question I asked myself for this video then is, should it be a rant, or should it be optimistic? The obvious answer to this is to be myself. That is to say, not full of negativity, not a full rant, not full of praise either. Basically, I will call it like I see it, as I always do. So before we get to the slightly more detailed part of Frontier's post, let's take a look at the roadmap. Okay, wrong post, but that one's actually comparatively more specific than the real roadmap. Let's switch over and have a look at that. So the first thing that you will notice here is that there are three upcoming updates. So far, we've had already two, which of which Frontier classify as significant. The other three will probably be equal in size to what we have already seen, and will release throughout June. As you can see, they will include, quote, many fixes. In addition to many fixes, they will also include some UI improvements, as well as at the end, the addition of shared Odyssey missions. So do let me know in the comments section below if you feel this is detailed enough. Should this roadmap identify and acknowledge the wide range of problems in Odyssey? Should it perhaps give an indication on when we can expect to see certain problems fixed? Or is the use of many improvements and fixes enough for you? Now, if you want my opinion on this, and I assume you do as you're here watching the video, I personally think it is a very, very vague roadmap, almost vague enough to be completely useless. The only useful information here is the dates on which we can expect to see the updates arrive. I'm sure many people are expecting these updates to contain many improvements and fixes anyway, so not entirely useful information there. Good to know that the UI is being worked on though, and that the flow there's going to be some flow changes to that, as those are much needed. But seriously, this roadmap is, well, absolutely bare minimum. Minimum viable roadmap, I guess. Let's then look at the wider post and what kind of fixes we can expect to see after the next three updates. What will be in update 6? What will Frontier focus on in July and August? Well, it turns out the answer to that appears to be very specific for once. So here we are quoting Frontier. While we are expecting to see a specific and targeted performance improvements in the upcoming June updates, we are also aware that the development work for console will allow for even larger performance optimizations and enhancements for PC too. Therefore, we feel that the best approach for all our commanders will be to focus on our, our development efforts after update 5 on performance and console release, and to bring our multi-platform community together once more, which will also allow us to bring even more global optimization changes and updates to all Elite Dangerous commanders. Now, there only seems to be one specific way to interpret this, yet I've reread the entire paragraph many times in a somewhat disbelief. Specifically, I'm talking about this sentence. Therefore, we feel that the best approach for all our commanders will be to focus our development efforts after Update 5 on performance and the console release. Essentially then, it seems to me at least that what Frontier is saying here is that after Update 5, which will be released on the 24th of June, the PC version of Odyssey will receive no more updates, fixes, or performance improvements until the release of the console version. The console version is currently set to release in the late autumn. Although another way of reading this is that there may be some performance updates after June, but nothing in the terms of larger updates. Really then, what's being said is that the bulk of the uh, fixes, the bulk of the updates, the significant patches for Odyssey, are going to be between four and a half to six months away at minimum. Frontier have said that the benefit of this is that this form of production will directly benefit the PC, because at some point towards the end of the year, 
the PC will get a large update with all the fixes and improvements. Honestly, I can't see that going over too well with a player base, and it certainly doesn't sit right with me either. Some feel that Odyssey is just a video game that will either be fixed or not at all, and as such, there's no huge loss to them. Others trust Frontier will make the necessary fixes, even if it takes six months, and that there's no use in complaining about it. There's a somewhat Panglosian element to that, endlessly, perhaps naively, optimistic. As far as I'm concerned, Frontier released Odyssey as a full-priced release, yet they're now essentially saying that Odyssey's development won't be completed until the release of the console version. Now, on the one hand, I don't think many people are going to be that surprised at this. I'm certainly not surprised myself. You know my thoughts from the entire alpha process, and you saw my thoughts uh, recently about this as well. But it does really bring us back to the beginning of this video. Rant or optimistic. Personally, I don't think it's good enough. Frontier is saying that development on console will eventually directly benefit the PC version. But the trouble here is the time frame. We're all long-time players here of games, whether we've played on consoles or PC. We all know well now by this point that development of games is hard. We all know that releases rarely go smoothly. But there's problematic releases and problematic releases. And Odyssey is certainly more on the uh, worse end of that, shall we say. So really, to be told that uh, the bulk of the fixes are coming when the console version of Odyssey releases, well, how many people are going to be happy to wait that length of time after paying $40 for the full-priced PC release? Telling PC players to wait six months feels disingenuous at best. But that said, do let me know your take on this. Is it all okay? Is it something we should expect as a part of the process, or is it a poor decision? Moving on to a couple of other subjects that Frontier discussed, Frontier did acknowledge that there's issues with planets, and that they are being investigated. However, Frontier don't go into any details on what specifically is broken. It's also possible that they may not know exactly what is broken themselves, or at the very least cannot confirm it in a way that is easily explained. It's possible that this vagueness will lead to further frustration from the player base in either regard, and I for one would certainly like to know what is broken and what is intended. And right at the end of the forum post, Frontier have stated that they understand there's issues with communications from the company towards the player base. They want to improve this, and so have announced they will be releasing monthly dev updates highlighting the work that has been undertaken. Well, I think that's a laudable goal but those dev updates are certainly going to need to be more fleshed out than the roadmap that we saw today. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys and girls next time.